What's up guys, it's Charles here with Rocket Punch Army. Do a review of this awesome figure, I can't wait to open this. It's the Combiner Wars Autobot Power Glide. You can see this is the new packaging they're doing with these Combiner Wars, which is black with the red logo, which looks absolutely awesome. And you get the artwork up here, but if you happen to look up really close, it's very digitized. Like they use a low resolution file, which kind of makes it feel like a bootleg in a way. Uh, if we turn around here, you will see the usual, the bio and the different modes, and you can see it does have a weapon mode, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead, open this up, guys, and uh, check it out. Now, running theme with these figures is the inclusion of these cardboard uh, little cards here, which uh, don't have tech specs or anything, but it's a nice inclusion. But what we're really here for is this awesome bad boy right here, and as you can see, uh, if you're a Power Glide fan, it's finally a nice looking Power Glide figure. I had the Cyberverse, which I quickly sold. Not too into it, looks a little bit too stylized, but this is just perfect. Obviously, it looks a little different than what you see on the screen, but it really, honestly, in my opinion, is, is one of the best looking Power Glides out there. Uh, just for comparison, we're going to put my original, one of my first, actually, uh, Transformers toys, the original Power Glide here. Uh, which I've managed to keep in pretty good condition over the years. I've got the X Transbots version right here of Power Glide, which is also a very nice figure. And also the Make Toys version here, which originally I thought this was the coolest looking Power Glide up until this guy came out. And this guy is a lot cheaper than that guy. So one of the first things you want to check out on a figure is the articulation. You do have articulation in the head, it's just a little weird to get to. Uh, the head just moves back and forth. There is no up and down movement due to the design. You get these ball jointed shoulders which allow the arms to come out and around. You do have a little elbow here which uh, sort of acts like a double elbow because it does allow a lot of articulation although it's only a single hinge there. Uh, no articulation in the hands as is the case with a lot of Power Glide toys. And you get the hips here all right, on ball joints. You get the knees which fold down and you get the feet here. Now the feet can only uh, you know, hinge here, they don't actually move side to side, but they are molded with a bit of angle to give you a little bit of uh, open leg stance. You'll notice Power Glide has blue ball, so uh, if you want to go back here, you can actually lift this up, although it sticks out, but in, on display it does definitely look a lot better this way. He's got an absolutely beautiful Tampo printed Autobot logo, and what's cool about this is it's Tampo printed in silver with red instead of white and red, and I really like the way that looks. It's got a little bit of detail here little blue striping going out with some silver and uh, some black details and the little blue that I just showed you guys uh, other than that very nice colored plastics next thing we're gonna check out is alternate mode and here he is in his flight mode you can see it's uh, actually done really nice I do like the proportions until you start to get like around here then it just looks a little strange but uh, from above from certain angles it looks really good you'll notice it's got some little uh, wheels back here which aren't actually rolling wheels it's just uh, molded in landing gear and on the front here you also get the rest of the landing gear you get the front one there you go and you can prop them down. So overall, a very nice looking, very faithful to the original, the way the arms are right on the wings. Uh, the colors are really nice. Now normally I save the, the third mode, which is the combiner mode, uh, for the review on the combiner, but for this one, it turns into a weapon which you can use with other robots, so I might as well show you that. Uh, it just requires folding these down, then these thrusters have to be pushed down this way then this flap has to go up and then these wing pieces have to be folded back in on themselves to the side and that right there completes the weapon mode it's pretty much just him kind of squeezed together uh, but I'm assuming these are the barrels I guess these are little missile launchers here and this is a scope so we'll go ahead and try that out with another figure for this I will be using the Combiner Wars Optimus Prime so we can go ahead and prop that right in using the landing gear as you can see you can use it with other robots uh, anything that uses 5mm pegs, but with this uh, figure you have to kind of balance it because of the uh, weight of the actual weapon. Now because it is a 5mm peg, you can peg it to other figures like I said. For example that. So bottom line guys, this is a very cool figure, very happy with it. And I didn't mention that it doesn't have weapons, uh, but you do see the holes here for 5mm pegs, allowing you to use other weapons. If you have any questions or comments on this or anything else, please leave them below. If you're liking the videos, please subscribe and like. If you want to pick one of these up, you can go ahead and click the link below in the description. Until next time, guys, bye-bye.